of Super Arcade, Watson, and the man who eliminated Daigo yesterday, John Choi. But guess who they have to go up against? Three of the five gods of Street Fighter from Japan. This is Daigo Umahara, the man that Choi did eliminate yesterday. Tokido, who just got second place, the King of Fighters. And of course, their last member, Nuki, who was a two-time second place finisher in Super Turbo <laughs> at 2000, Evo 2005 and at B5, I believe it was. And Nuki getting back into the scene a little bit. It's great to see him coming back. Dago, uh, known for a great Ryu play, uh, is actually playing boxer in this tournament. And I think, although all these players are obviously capable of wiping out anybody and blowing out a whole team individually, I think the secret star here is actually Nuki. His Chun-Li play <laughs> has been incredible. Super, super on point, super technical, incredible reads. He uh, hasn't no training mode here, so we have to kill yeah. off the characters, so that's what's happening there. The best part is when you fight the SD computer, they kill you so fast when you try to fight them, <laughs> but then when you like walk at them to try to get them to kill you, they take forever. Yeah, those I, sort I of slow know. down, stop to make a sandwich. Yeah. But, but yes. Uh, but because Nuki's never really stopped playing this game. You know, he hasn't picked up Street Fighter 4 or anything like that. So all of those old muscle memories are still there for him. And it looks like Watson's going to go first with his Balrog. And this is not a bad draw against Tokido, who will be playing the Claw, yeah. otherwise known as Balrog, otherwise known as Vega. Well, the names are switched here. Yes. Obviously, the, yeah, there we go. Team Japan going to go. and. We're on Tokido. a Japanese board here for Super Turbo. And what? Yeah. Watching Tokido's Vega play is where he first got the nickname Dirty Tokido, I think. <laughs> and Balrog has to make some guesses here. That jump oh, back jab nice. is beautiful stuff. Great counter. Now Tokido tries to go for the roll on the ground, but it's not happening. And that's the other counter is that yeah. Pierce or sometimes strong headbutt put you far enough away to avoid. And this is most of Tokido's game, but it's so difficult to avoid this. Oh, he's catching him wrong at the wrong, at, just at the last yeah. minute, he's switching sides, causing Balrog's headbutt to go the wrong way. But Mike's okay. smartly yeah. sitting back saying, even though he doesn't have the lead, he doesn't want to overextend himself. Vega can counter. He did a jab rush there because Vega can counter cleanly. Right. If you see the uh, fierce rush, that would reach him from there. And there's that can counter. Oh, but opportunity. A, the reason why the low rush is so important is he can maintain his Advantage charge. Watson. Oh, here we go. Will he try and turtle it out? Tokido's going to go for it. Oh, and Tokido read that. He yes. did an early stab to specifically to beat the air to air, but. Couldn't get it. And Mike Watson playing some smart stuff. A real test of wills there between those two guys. Yeah. Staring each other down. And there you see Tokido doing a very early stab. Oh, oh big yeah. opportunity. Tokido failed to find the wall there. Wow, great read from Watson with the uppercut. And that's the crazy, another crazy thing about that low rush. He has frame advantage after you block it, which is why he can do low runches and stand oh. fierce. And there, Tokido got behind him. Balrog with the grab. I predict Watson will go for it again. Oh. No! Tokido throws him out of it. And this is going to be it. Will the roll? Yes. Oh, yeah. Reversals are only one frame. That's a definitely a worth it risk for Tokido. Moves have hundreds of active frames, it feels like, in this game compared to modern fighting games. So doing that roll as a meaty to go up against a one-frame reversal, totally worth trying. And there we saw the early, oh, he had an opportunity. He went too early. So that is the guessing game they're playing. If Tokido goes early, he can beat the jump away jab. Oh, no. Here but if go. Watson waits. Oh, and an early him. stab from Tokido, and he's going to take it. And, and Yuki is loving it, yeah. Yeah, this is trouble now because, if I'm not mistaken, Choi is probably going to use Sagat, and Vi is going to use Ryu. Yes. And um, Vega does really, really well against Ryu. Yes. And really, really well against Sagat. And this is such a dirty strategy from Team Japan. It's uh, They know that Tokido is perfectly capable of rolling through this whole team yep. without even forcing the other guys to play. Earlier, they'd been starting, uh, excuse me, Dago uh, up first with Balrog, and he actually been taking some licks. He uh, lost a few times mm, okay. uh, to some Honda players, Chris Lee, and uh, yeah, it was. So I think a change in strategy. Let's just throw up uh, a really nasty di <laughs> uh, claw and see how far we can go with that before we have to bring out the other guns here. You Tokido, can see of that. course, fresh from his KOF. Yep, second place. I know. Yeah. And I know he wants some, uh, re you know, some revenge, revenge for that. Yeah, yeah. because. He really wanted to take that KOF. He was really sad about not winning that. So I'm sure this will be a nice consolation prize for him to be able to take first place in this tournament here, X-Mania. This is a very difficult fight for Ryu. And being in the corner is where, oh no, that's an input error. Yep. Oh, and that's a perfectly wrong time. He got away with it, no dizzy, but now very down in life. Oh, wow, he needs that space. That claw between that and stand forward is so hard for Ryu to get yep. 
they clean stuff, opportunities. Yeah, they stuff fireballs. Like the fireball won't even come out yeah. a lot of the times when you do that. Oh, that was an opportunity. Ooh. Can okay. he create off this? Oh, he gets him again. I has brought it back. Oh, oh. John, Joy the Korean Inferno. What the heck? Yeah, sorry guys, that is John Choi up there, not Alex Vai, so apologies about that. Oh, is it Vai? Yes, it is Oh, Vai. it is yeah. Vai. What the heck, they switched it around? Oh my god, I would have totally expected Choi to use Ryu. I'm sorry, my bad. Here's the opportunity, and Vai finds it again with the throw. Very, very smart play. Oh, great neutral jump, controlling that horizontal oh, wow. column. Oh, oh, nice, empty jump, empty jump, yeah. And that is a huge upset. That is a very difficult yeah, yeah. match. By, of course, you know, <laughs> not practicing this game right, perhaps right, as right. much as some. And by definitely loving that. That yeah. is a great, great game to him. And he knows he sort of got away with it. He's like, ah, I still got it, I still got it. <laughs> yeah, apologies about that, because usually when I see Vi and Choi play against each other, Vi usually goes Ryu and Choi goes Old Sagat. Isn't that usually the case? Or? It is, yeah. I believe Choi will still be playing Old Sagat. In this okay, tournament. okay. Yeah. Wow, opening with some jabs, and here comes Daigo Umahara with the boxer, Ugh. just keeping it simple, and he's shown some new Stan Fierce technology trying to bait right. things out, and now he knows he has enough chip damage yes, to end yeah. it. Now, Vai plays against Afro Legends a lot, so he definitely has a lot of practice against Balrog, but even Vai, I've seen, has trouble against Afro Legends. It's not a great fight for Ryu. Yeah, I, I enjoy this fight as a boxer player. Uh, it's an interesting fight. Ryu definitely can win, but it's... Advantage Balrog, I think. Oh, and he's in that horrible spot where he's just out of range, but manages to pull it back with a smart uppercut. Ooh. Tried to get to the other side. Daigo denies it with standing strong. Oh, oh he oh, jump oh, fireball. He has a chance. Now, no, yes, yeah, 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 he had yeah, to respect yeah. it there for fear of super from Daigo. Yeah, wow. now at any range, Daigo can do that kick rush in the super. Oh, oh, he just goes for the roundhouse rush. Steals it back from Baye, and that was oh. he was a victim of his own. He was too smart to throw the fireball because, right, of course, right. Umahara could throw it, and then just doesn't throw anything, and Umahara gets a random sweep from great distance. Wow, that is tough. Uh, so Choi is probably going to go with old Sagat. Choi plugging in. Uh, speaking of uh, outmoded technology, <laughs> uh, Choi definitely has a stick to match the age of this game. Uh, that stick is actually the actual joystick that Glenn Cravens used on the cover of his Evo Moment 37 book. <laughs> he actually borrowed John's stick just to take that picture. The, the last remaining example in North America of a yeah. mass, of a mass <laughs> stick. And it's got the much heavier springs, the sort of baseball bat ball top, and different buttons as well. That can soak up a little more impact. It's going to be Old Sagat, as predicted. One of the cheapest characters in the game, but yep. of course, Balrog, no slouch himself. This is an interesting fight because it's really about Balrog trying to build some meter. He's willing to block some of those tiger shots and headbutt just to build meter. Because as soon as he gets meter, the match changes entirely once he gets to that super. John Choi with some very smart preemptive strongs there to try and counter Ooh. those rushes before they get into position to have the hit frames active. He's got to be careful. You can do jab, headbutt, hold back, and land with a super as soon as you land. Choi, though, faking and staggering his tiger shot timing, making it very hard. Oh, great read from Daigo, and now can Choi pull it back? No, oh. Daigo just goes straight into the grab. Will he get him again? No, he may have gone for it. Choi is out of range. Oh, Choi misses the upper hand. Oh, and then a point blank tiger shot. Yes. Great, and now great the stuff. Korean Ver Inferno takes a <laughs> round. High wire act there. Oh, wow. He went for the opening fireball, countered by the opening low rush. Oh. Clutch uppercut. Wants to get a little space out of yep. that corner. Oh, no blocks against a lot of Daigo's jumps so far for John Choi. And John, very smart. Wow, great charge time and great reversal from Daigo. Yep. Oh, that That's should be a dizzy. dizzy. Choi, can he clear it out? Yes. Yes, John Choi takes it from Daigo again. And it's now going to be a very tough draw for Team Japan. Nuki not happy about this. He is going to be playing Chun-Li up against Old Sagat. That floaty jump, his worst enemy in this match, as well as, of course, those super fast Tiger yeah. shots. It's a tough, this is a tough fight for Chun. However, these guys, the, the, the Japanese players, they've made an art out of Chun-Li fighting against Old Sagat. Chun-Li also widely considered to be one of the best characters in the game. Not, I think, originally regarded that way by U.S. contingent necessarily. Yes. Uh -huh. Notably strong, but not maybe the best. Now, I think... Uh, Oh, wow. Ooh. He went for the opening jump in. That is so risky, but it gets paid off. And that's going to be in Choi's head. Will we see the overhead? No, he's out of range now. And he's just going to battle it back. 
Choi, of course, not building any super here. He just has to win the hard way. Oh, baits it out. Oh, and baits with an uppercut. Oh, oh, very smart. The last thing that Choi was expecting was a spinning bird kick. Not a commonly used wake up move like that in that situation. Does have some invulnerable flames, frames and can pass over those low tiger shots. Making it does have very specific applications like we just saw. Oh, here oh, we go. On the risk of dizzy here. But don't forget, Choi also defeated Nuki in Super Turbo, I believe, the year that he won the two yes. Street Fighter games at So this at is Evo. a run back, yes. Very good point. Oh, pulls it out, oh. but not in time. Choi did not stick anything out. Oh, and he gets what? him. That is so difficult. And that hitbox appears very quickly. Down to the last round between Nuki and John Choi. Who's going to pull it out? One of these teams has to go home. Choi showing some respect there, not wanting to throw that opening fireball to gain that control after getting blown up in round one. He's got Chun Li in great position, maybe a tad closer than he might want to be in this situation, ideally, but still very strong, not over committing. Nuki not even able to charge. He could do an aerial spinning bird kick and charge meter. Choi denying it in that spot. Oh, he found oh, the opening. What a prediction on that. Tiger again. Got it again. And he got him with the low fierce. John Choi. This is the year of jo the return of John Choi. And he is getting carried out on Watson's back. There will be no handshakes. They are marching straight <laughs> off the stage. These guys are old friends. John's going to turn around and, and show a little respect. But just like that, Team Japan full of gods. They get a great matchup there at the end for Choi and closes it out with clutch play with the old Sagat. Great matches Excellent. all around. Representing the wow.